What is a sub same day delivery? Is it different from regular logistics? And how did it go on my first day? Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe. Thank you so much. So at this point, I have 3,590 subscribers. Been gaining a lot the last month or so. So I'm really happy about that. And I wanted to make another Amazon Flex video because one of the ones I made before is really doing good for me. So yeah. That's why I chose to do this. So I picked this shift up. It started at 7.15 in the morning and end at 11.15 a.m. in Sacramento, the sub same day delivery. So I'm used to normal logistics that uh, I usually work out of Roseville. And this was about 20 miles away from where I live. And I was nervous because I've never tried a sub same day delivery. I don't know what was different from regular logistics. Those are the amazon.com packages that I deliver out of my car. So I was a little nervous, but I made my way to Sacramento. Finally made it to the warehouse. It was a little early just in case I didn't know how to get there, but it was no problem. I walked into the warehouse and I checked in. They gave me my route and I was on my way out to my car. As you may have seen, I'm going to make $88 for this route. I've done way more packages at once than this, so I guess there wasn't really anything to be worried about. I scanned them all in and there were 21 packages to deliver in four hours. I can do that in my sleep. And this was my route going down to Elk Grove. It was about a 15 minute drive. Here's what it looks like driving into Sacramento in the morning. It's the capital city of California in case you didn't know. So I used to deliver for Amazon Flex in Seattle, Washington. Wow, what a big difference. It's so much better here because it's a smaller city. But yeah, I used to get anxiety when I had to go to downtown Seattle because one, there was never a place to park. Two, it was usually a lot of packages all at once to a, like a 30, 30 story building. It was just a nightmare. One time I even got a parking ticket just trying to do my job and there were bums peeing on the street living in tents right next to me and the cops didn't do anything about that then i had to deal with the worst traffic i've ever seen in my life and i grew up in los angeles oh yeah and it always rains in seattle so that was no fun but hey we're doing good now i started this shift and it seriously is just like a regular logistics, except we get paid a little more and there aren't as many packages. So there's nothing wrong with that. I usually try to stick with Whole Foods and Prime Now deliveries, but they've been really hard to get lately for me. So I've been doing some logistics and in Roseville, we usually can't start until like 4.30 in the evening. We basically have the leftovers that the big vans couldn't deliver. But this started at 7 in the morning, so it gives me a lot of options for when I want to work. I've been doing Amazon Flex for just around five and a half years, and it's my favorite job I've ever had. The only thing I don't like is the rising gas prices. It's $5.99 a gallon for the cheap stuff now. I hope one day I can look back at this and think, Wow, remember how bad gas used to be? It's so much better now. That's my dream anyway. In case you haven't seen any of my other Amazon Flex videos, another reason why I love this job is because it's so easy. You just pick up the packages, put them in your car, scan them, go to the house, 
follow the directions in the app and scan them there and walk up to the house, drop it off, take a picture to prove that you delivered it, and you're on to the next one. You don't have to deal with any people. Have you seen anyone else but me in this video yet? No, because there isn't anyone. I love it. I used to work in customer service for years and just putting up with people just was a big problem for me. The only problem in this, when I do logistics, is finding the packages in my car. And that is nothing. You see, I'm making some good progress. Oh yeah, there is something else I don't like. Apartments. But we'll get to that later. If you're watching this video, do you already do Amazon Flex? If you do, do you do all of them, like logistics, Prime Now, Whole Foods, let me know, I'm curious. Getting closer and closer to being done. It's 9.27 now. I probably made my first stop around 7.40 or so. So, and like I said, I only had 21 packages, so it's not a big deal. Okay, apartments. I hate delivering to apartments because they're so hard to find like the numbers. Some of them don't make it obvious what building it is. And then, oh, it's just us. Like this one, it took me five minutes to find this. And then I had to call customer service for Amazon because I was out of the area that I was supposed to be in. And oh, what a hassle. I made it through somehow. And now we're going down the home stretch. Just have a few left. I'm definitely going to try to do more of these sub same day ships if I can. I've been doing GoPuff for a while, but they're starting to lower their um, bonuses. So that sucks. Yeah, the economy is going bad and inflation's up and they're lowering their bonuses, so no thank you. And I was finally done at 10.15, a whole hour before I was supposed to be done. I ended up making $29.33 per hour that I worked. That's alright, considering how easy it is. And yeah, so don't be afraid to do these shifts. I will see you in the next video. I hope this helped out. Bye for now.